You're a bit of a novelty pitcher, a lot like Darren O'Day, who's probably a little more underhand than you are, but you've kind of got a little bit of a three-quarter delivery. You know, mm-hmm. I know it took a little while to develop that and the deceptions. Of, you know, how did you end up doing that? Well, so I used to be more over the top, uh, kind of straight down type pitcher. Um, and I had a pitching coach when I was in San Diego kind of try to drop me down a little bit. So uh, what he told me was to pick up a ball off the ground like you're playing shortstop and throw it. And that's your, that's your arm slot. So I would do that and I'd pick up a ball and I would be about right right here. Three so that, that's, so the, that's, three not even, that's even a little less than three quarters. Yeah, so wherever, wherever you're just comfortable throwing is really what it is. And then, you know, the key I always have is to keep keep the ball uh, on top, keep your fingers on top of the ball. So no matter where your arm slot is, you know, if your fingers are on top of the ball, and for me being a sinker ball pitcher, you're going to get that, you know, the sink and that movement well, that's the that plane right there. the important part of throwing the ball for you is the movement on the ball. Yeah. And that's and, really kind of like, yeah. The more you get on the side, the more the ball is going to go side to side, flatten out, hitters are going to be able to hit it. So you want to be able to stay on top of it, through the zone, to get that hard late sink. A lot of guys, you know, when you're going through the course of your delivery and you come set, a lot of guys will not make that turn that you seem to be able to make. You know, they hide the ball, but you, you know, that you have a turn like where you there's, hide yourself. You have a complete there, turn. Yeah, there's there's something the to being deceptive. Yeah. And there's also, you know, for me that's a load. You know, you want to make sure when you're when you're coming set. You know, you want to be able to get to a point where you feel aggressive and strong. And, and for me, that's, that's kind of right here. Now, there's a fine line between, you know, getting this way and then turning off and, right. and, and losing your stuff. And, you know, the key is just to stay, get to your low position. And then for me, it's to stay closed as long as I can while still getting my arm through. You're, not, it's, a high, it's, it's you're not a big high leg kick guy. You're just kind of moderate in here. Yeah, I just try to... I try to come set with my weight already kind of back in the position that that load position that I want to be in so I can just bring my leg up and then key off key off that for timing. So I'm coming set and I'm already loaded and then my leg can come back and when it hits the top point there I know to go forward.